Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thanks for joining me. This is uh, evening prayer for Sunday, January 22nd. It's the third Sunday after the Epiphany, at week three in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 103, and John chapter 5, verse 2 to 18, and a canticle from Judith, chapter 16, verse 2, and verses 13 through 16. Now please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 100 to the tune of Old 100. Our God is God and God alone does life and breath and being give. We are God's work and not our own. The sheep that on God's pastures live. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Most High, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. Hallelujah. Psalm 103. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah, bless the Most High, my soul, and all that is within me, bless God's holy name. Bless the Most High, my soul, and do not forget God's blessings, who forgives all my iniquities, who heals all my diseases, who redeems my life from destruction, and who crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies my hunger with good things, so that my youth is renewed like the eagles. You, my God, execute righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. You made known your ways to Moses, your acts to the children of Israel. <clears throat> you are loving and gracious, slow to anger and full of mercy. You will not always chide, nor will you be angry forever. You have not dealt with us as we deserve, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is your mercy toward those that fear you. As far as the east is from the west, so far have you removed our transgressions from us. Like parents who take pity upon their children, so you love them that fear you. For you know of what we are made, and remember that we are dust. As for the children of the earth, their days are like the grass, like the flowers of the field, so they flourish. And then the wind passes over, and they are gone, and that place shall know them no more. But your mercy is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear you, and your righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep your covenant and to those that remember to do your commandments. You have prepared your throne in the heavens, and your kingdom rules over all. Bless the Most High, you angels, that excel in strength, that do God's commandments, listening to God's word. Bless the Most High, all God's hosts, you ministers of God, that do God's pleasures. Bless the Most High, all God's works, in all places of God's dominion, bless the Most High, my soul. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Most High, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 5, beginning at verse 2. Now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool, called in Hebrew Bethsatha, 
which has five porticos. And in these lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. And when Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? And the sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. And while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, take your mat, and walk. At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now that day was a Sabbath, and so the Jews said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath, it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. But he answered them, The man who made me well said to me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take it up and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had disappeared in the crowd that was there. Later, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse happens to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. And therefore the Jews started persecuting Jesus because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My father is still working, and I also am working. And for this reason the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because he was not only breaking the Sabbath, <clears throat> but he was also calling God his own father, thereby making himself equal to God. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And now let's recite the canticle together. Hallelujah, begin a new song to my God with timbrels. Sing to my God with cymbals. Sing to God a new song, exalt God, and call upon God's name. I will sing to you a new song. You, O God, are great and glorious, wonderful in strength and invincible. Let all creatures serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit, and it created them, and there is none that can resist your voice. For the mountains shall be moved from their foundations with the waters, the rocks shall melt like wax at your presence. Yet you are merciful to them that fear you. For all sacrifice is too little for a sweet savor to you. And all the fat is not sufficient for your burnt offering. But they that fear you are great at all times. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.